So in this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust your pipe location when you're routing it. Now one of the biggest benefits about using CADWorks is the ability to adjust your uh, location of your pipe on the fly. So whether you're running uh, center of pipe, you're running the center line, uh, the bottom of pipe or the top of pipe, CADWorks allows you to set these uh, features before you start routing the pipe or after you start routing the pipe. So let's look at before first. So let's look at, uh, if we go over to, one of the biggest benefits about using CADWorks is the ability to choose how you route your pipe, whether you're going to use center line, uh, bottom of pipe, top of pipe, uh, and it allows you to select that on the fly or before you even start routing. So let's, let's look at that real quick. So if we go over to our spec view, uh, click on our pipe. Uh, there we go. Click on it. It'll ask us uh, our alignment. So if we click on that, you got your center, you've got your bottom of pipe, your top of pipe, your left or your right. And so you can choose, let's say we want to do bottom of pipe or BOP. And now we got our bottom of pipe. So you can choose let's say this beam right here we're going to choose the center line because it's on top of the beam and so now we start routing and you can see that it's not intruding onto the steel now one of the big benefits is being able to do this on the fly so let's say we got our T right here that we're going to come off of and go ahead and get rid of our pipe and we're going to come up and let's say two foot. Okay. And we're going to come over, let's say six feet. We're going to drop it down and we're going to put it, do our point filters. So we're going to go down to the bottom of that beam or the top of the beam, sorry, top of steel. And so we're going to do dot Z. We're going to pick the, that center line right there. So we're just going to choose nearest. Okay. At. And you can see that we, when we routed it, now we're part of the beam. We're actually going through it. So the center line of our pipe is now at the same elevation as our beam. So if we wanted to change that, and we go to our alignment. We're going to do bottom of pipe. Now you can see that the pipe and the elbow are not part of the beam. And it's actually sitting on top of the beam like we want. Now, I kind of goofed up here. I chose a 12-inch pipe that's not enough room so it kept the pipe in there as a goof up so this allows you to choose you know how you route your pipe so if we come down here and let's say 20 feet okay and we're routing and we're routing and we're routing and we want to go back to uh, using our center line of pipe all we have to do is go back to our alignment say hey we want to go to our center of the pipe now and now we're on our center line so there's a little information how to change the alignment of your pipe as you're routing on the fly again you can set this up before you start routing your pipe or you can do it on the fly so if you need to uh, go along a piece of steel or whether you need to hug up against the bottom of a beam uh, you have that option on the fly so you don't have to get out of your routing command in order to do that so um, I hope that was helpful if you guys have any comments please leave them below uh, please remember to like share and subscribe 
and tell your friends about our channel and if there's anything you want us to, to cover please let us know and we'll try to get that on a later video.